What I recommend doing because you said if you're not 18, school. School. You shouldn't even worry about going pro until you're 18. Play games for fun. Do it in your spare time after you do your homework. You know, do it as a hobby. And then when you're 18 or right before you turn 18, if you feel like you are good enough to do this at a higher level, then you can kind of start looking for that. And in the meantime, you make friends, you connect with people, you get like high rank and, you know, high rank and rank and whatnot. But you should never focus about going pro ahead of your time. It's a waste of time. The game that you want to go pro in might be dead by the time you turn 18, which means you don't even have a chance to go pro. What bad habits come out of using an ACOG? Uh, holding angles. Holding angles. Like, if you play an FPS game or any competitive game, you need to be the one. If you're the better player and you want to learn and, and be proactive, you need to be the one making decisions and making shit happen. If you play ACOG, it's a very like, common habit that you're just going to hold a pixel angle and wait for the opponent to get impatient because that's your advantage, right? That's what ACOG gives you. Whereas 1x scopes, you kind of need to be the one making the play and pushing for it and find the openings instead of wait for the openings. And it's a lot better of a skill to be proactive than to just be patient, right? Anyone can be patient. But being patient relies on the enemy making a mistake, not you making the right play. And you should never rely on the enemy making a mistake to be the winner, right? Because you want to be the one forcing the mistake. I'm pressing W with index finger. Uh, yeah. Index, ring, uh, middle finger, and thumb. And then I use my thumb for uh, D, C, F, V, G, and thumb. All right, sorry, thumb, uh, space, and X. Index finger is W, S, E, and D. And ring finger is Q, E, S. And then my ring finger is shift. And caps lock, I guess. Yeah, you see, I don't use my pink at all. It's just chilling over here. Literally, it doesn't get used. Whatsoever. I got less than I uh, took a beam. Lion's half half outside the single window. Monty and Lion. Oh, I wanted to so bad. Couldn't get it though. The thing is, I saw the Lion first, and I saw the glass after. So I killed Doka because like first vision, right? That's that's fine. But then I need to make a decision: do I kill Glass or do I kill Lion? Knowing that Monty was alive, I would rather kill a Glass because I got four smokes, six with Doka but I killed Doka So if I kill Doka Monty's alive. They use two smokes already. Killing Glass has a lot more value than killing Lion because they already spent one Lion charge, right? So mathematically speaking, maybe I could have gotten a triple if I killed Lion then Glass, but I made the safe play and killed the Glass first. Just cause less is a high value for like them. Don't lie. You picked me up. I mean, we picked him up because he's like a no-brainer, and we need this. So. We need a no-brainer. Okay. Yeah. Yo, does a no-brainer one tap someone with a beagle? Watch this. That's exactly. Watch that's this. exactly what he does. Just watch this. Watch this. He thinks he's gonna beat me with his ACOG? Not today. <laughs> <laughs> if that was CTS, Guys. you had muscle break. You had that, dude. You had that. I had this problem where I just like didn't listen. Or if I had a, any kind of issue with some kind of strategy or something like that, I would always bring it up. I'd be like, blah, 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 blah. And I would poke as many holes in a strategy as possible. And eventually I got kicked from that team because I refused to just listen and go with the strategy. Sometimes it's not about being right or even about the strategy Check being the perfect. Sometimes it's just about listening. And here's the beauty of it. The way that I got over this hump, the way that I pushed past this is that I realized that if I listen to the strategy, if I fuck it up, or no, not if I fuck it up, if anything gets fucked up, it's not my fucking fault. If I do my role in the strategy, and the strategy fails, it's the fault of the person who made the strategy. Instead of just trying to, like, always seek for those holes, instead of trying to make it wrong, just do it, and if it fucks up, then it's not your fault. It wasn't CSGO. Siege has never been CSGO. Back when Siege came out, people were like, Oh my god, what a fucking CSGO copy. <laughs> no. You jump into the game, you play the game for 10 minutes, and you're like, wow. Look at the depth. Look at it. It's fucking mind-blowing. All of the soft destruction, the angle play involved in that, just alone. That alone made Siege one of the most complex FPSs ever fucking made. And it still is. But they're... Fucking dude, they're taking a sharpie and scribbling over it with these operators. Like, 
It just isn't that anymore. It still is, but it's 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 shrouded. It's it's blocked. Sneak your way into bunker. Nobody saw you. And you have a mute with jammers to find the drones. Ooh. And drop them down. Beautiful, right? Beautiful. They don't know you're here. You're defending ventilation. Ventilation is downstairs. You've managed to hide in this corner. Based on your game sense. And the enemy is none the wiser. Maybe even a drone comes by but doesn't really check where you're hiding. Beautiful. Wonderful. Then Dokubi calls you and you're fucked. When you're on a new team and you're trying to build up synergy, make sure to call what you need and what you're doing. If you're holding an angle, call that you're holding that angle. If you need someone to hold an angle, call that you need someone to hold that angle. If you're trying to accomplish something, say it. Just dialogue. Keep a dialogue going. Keep information flowing. Don't talk over each other. Don't try to, you know, muddy the comms, but give information, not just location callouts. Give information. Say what you're doing. Because we don't have a mini-map in this game. This isn't Counter-Strike. It's not the sort of thing where you can just look at your top left and, oh, look, my teammate's over there. Now I know what he's up to. No, if I'm holding an angle in Siege, and my teammate's moving around, and I want to know what he's doing, either A, he tells me what he's doing, B, I know what he's doing because I've been on a team with him for ages and I have synergy with him, or C, I come off my angle, look at him, and then get back on my angle again. And C should never fucking happen. So you do A until you get B. B. B, B is clear. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, Twitch. Yep. Yeah. I need you here uh, to open the uh, the window here. I'll need Kaid. When I say go, you open the window, okay? Okay. One uh, half go. one. Go. One, one. one on me, you know. Oh, you he did it! Oh! Nice. Was that half one? Can you get the Kaid? Uh, yeah, it's half one, yes. Uh, 